especially yesterday. Um, and the talent that came through here, I think, was better than it was last year. But, but more than anything, just the environment and the atmosphere at USC, the energy level, the confidence, the positiveness, it's just everything. You know, everything's positive during the springtime. You know, there's national champions, springtime national championships all across the country. But it's just different this year at USC. The recruiting effort is light years different at USC right now. Kids are looking forward to coming back to USC for visits. Kids that maybe USC has no interest in offering are being given photo shoots. They're being given VIP treatment. They're feeling good when they leave here. And when you feel good about USC or if it was UCLA or whatever school, those kids leave and go talk to their friends about what a great time they had at USC. That's what's going on right now at the University of Southern California. That was not going on last year. Kids were leaving USC last year feeling disrespected. Now, whether they were or not doesn't matter. They felt that way. They felt like USC's recruiting effort was, was subpar, and it was. Um, so things have turned around in a lot of areas for the USC football team right now. So, you know, we'll, we'll try and keep you updated on that. We'll try and do some of these video features, for lack of a better word, um, during the summertime and, and keep you guys updated on, on the recruiting efforts. But there also were a couple of, uh, there were three official visitors that were here. Bijan Robinson came in from Arizona, five-star running back. I mean, God, this guy's so talented and such a good kid. The only thing is he doesn't like to talk to us, so I haven't been able to get an update from him. But we will at some point. Uh, but he left, and USC felt like they did everything possible to convince him that this was the place to be. And, and I know they feel really good about their chances of getting P. John Robinson. So he'll be off to Texas this week for his uh, weekend for an official visit. Was at Ohio State before USC. I'm not sure what else he has planned. Chad Lindbergh from, from Texas, an offensive lineman from League City. Um, another extremely talented football player. He's leaving here. The feeling is is that maybe George is the team to beat for him, but it was not a free trip is, is kind of the feedback that I'm getting from sources. Um, so, you know, USC might be in it with him if things go well. You know, USC's going to have to win football games against some guys that, that like I Chad Lindbergh. They, they can't have a season. I mean, last year was a season that is, is about as bad as it gets for USC. But they can't have an average season. USC's got to show some progress and, and not have some uncertainty surrounding the coaching situation. Uh, and then outside linebacker, from also from, from Texas, Dallas, Texas, Brennan Scott. We, we spoke to him. The word commitment came up a bunch of times. And Clay Helton told them, don't, don't commit unless you're 100% sure. Go see some schools. So, you know, I'm not sure why a kid would bring that up numerous times during a phone conversation, but um, I think he really had a great visit. And he had to leave early to make an official visit to Kansas. Lindbergh actually left straight from USC to go for an official visit to Texas A&M. So we've got five more official visitors coming in this weekend. Bryce Young will be leading the way. He'll be coming in for his official visit. Uh, defensive back from Texas, Chris Thompson Jr. Uh, wide receiver, running back, athlete, Mookie Cooper from St. Louis, Missouri, who's been here once before, had a great unofficial visit. That's why he's coming back this weekend for an official visit. You got Joey Wright from, from Reno, Nevada, who, who's the most recent verbal commit. And I'm missing somebody. And Jonah Monheim. I think he's a very important piece of this uh, recruiting class for UFC, potentially. He's from Moore Park High School, not far from here. Drake London is, is enrolled here at USC, was his teammate last year. So, you know, they're hoping that an official visit this weekend with Jonah Monheim might lead to a commitment. So we'll give you guys updates on uh, throughout the weekend on how, th how we're hearing things are going with the official visitors. We'll talk to the kids on Sunday when they're done with their official visits, and we'll post updates. Anyway, I'm Scott Schrader for uscscoop.com. See you soon.